Welcome back to the MLG pregame show. Nexi, DMAC, Chris Puckett all sitting here live from Dallas, Texas. It's the playoff event. Now, guys, we just talked about the teams that are going to be duking out for the final eighth spot. Let's tackle the big top seven. All right, guys. Toronto. Insane event. All kinds of team changes going in. Final boss starting it all off by booting Walshy. Walshy finds a new home on Instinct. Let's talk a little bit about who got the best out of that team swapping situation. Nexi, I know you got a team. Who's your pick? All right, so there was a scramble going on. Everybody looking for teams. Everything got mixed up with the Walshy effect once again. I think the best team coming out of all the team changes, I got to go with Straight Ripping. I mean, it proved by winning the event. Snipe down, everybody wants him. He's been on, you know, he's been on ambush. He's been on instinct. He's been on triggers down, and he finally found a home on Straight Rippin, and I think he fits perfectly. Well, Straight Rippin, they were already awesome. They dominated San Diego. They went 18 and one. They got second place in Orlando in an extremely tough series against Triggers Down, but how do you say they benefited most out of the team changes? Well, I think a Snipe Down is a perfect player for the, what, the, what they're looking for. You got T2, you got Edelmite and Legit, who already know what they're doing. They just needed that guy to plug himself in there, the guy with the potential, the Snipe Down, run around with a Sniper and make, just make everybody happy. Uh, of course, Snipe Down, you know, he's going to be good in the future. This is just his first season, definitely yeah. the breakout player of the year. Definitely. Now, DMAC. I know you disagree. We've done this in rehearsal. We've talked about it for weeks in the MLG office. Who do you think benefited most from the team changes going into Toronto? I think you have to go with Instinct. Uh, when, in, when you talk about Instinct, they dropped half of their squad, people. Um, they lost Macchio. They lost Victory X. And then you replace them with Walshy and Soviet. It's completely random. And, and you took that team and you made it into a brand new objective game type team. They were 11 and three in ge objective game types in Toronto, and guess who those three losses were to? Straight ripping. Straight ripping. That means they were 11 and 0 against everybody else. Instinct has shown how to really play the objective game types in this game. Is Walshy back? Walshy's back, without a doubt. He was never gone. All right. Well, D Max saying Walshy's still in it now, guys. Let's talk about Walshy's old team, Final Boss. They made the move that started the whole Walshy effect. They gave him the boot. Picked up Neighbor, statistically the best player in the game going into Definitely. Toronto. Guys, they finished third. What happened? Well, I think Final Boss had a huge improvement when they picked up Neighbor. I mean, you could see it in their stats. Unfortunately, I mean, I got to go back to talk about Toronto. You guys kind of let me down. I'm going to call you on it a little bit. I'm not going to be too harsh. Kind of let you down. They were up two games to zero against Straight Ripping and flopped they were the close. series. And then they, they, they were up three games to zero on Classic, and Classic caught up on you guys. Are you mentally weak? I, I mean, what are you doing late in the game? You start off so strong, and late in the game, it just seems like you guys are falling apart. I don't know what to tell you. I, I really want you guys to do good. Top three is awesome. I think there's room for, for, for improvement. I think we would all agree that Final Boss definitely has the individual talent definitely. to win another national championship. They didn't prove it in Toronto, but you know what? That was their first event together. DMAC, do you expect better placings out of them here in Dallas, Texas? Well, when you look at Final Boss, it's this. Uh, they they haven't been able to close, and I think they'll be able wait, to wait, do, wait, that. do that. Do that one it's more this. time. You know, they're right there, but you just can't close, and you need to change that. When Neighbor brought great things to the team, he had 168 more assists than any other member of his team. As the crowd is going wild here, and then you look at Neighbor, he was the most positive for his team. So Final Boss has made improvements. They were up 2-0-1 straight ripping. They lost 3-2. I think they will be fine in the long run. Well, the big knock on Final Boss has been the fact that they booted off their leader. The Ogres, they like to say that Walshy was never the leader, never the guy who created the strategies. But you look at Instinct's performance, they dominate objectives now. They just outsmart their opponents. And you know what? They didn't seem to have a leader in Toronto. Who is supposed to be their leader, DMAC, Nexi? Who needs to step it up for Final Boss? It definitely has to be Ogre 2. I mean, I, I don't think you could disagree with me here. Ogre 2 has shown that he is one of the best players in this game, tournament in and tournament out, despite how the team perform, how the team performs. Ogre 2 is a great player. He needs to step it up vocally. He needs to step it up mentally. He's playing fine in game. Just you know, step up your game, Ogre 2. Well, I'm gonna semi-agree with you. I, I don't care if it's Ogre 2. I don't care if it's Strong Side. It has to be somebody. You know, pass the ball to somebody. Let somebody make decisions. I mean, I, I'm not inside their headphones. I'm not listening to what they're saying, but it just doesn't seem like there's much leadership going on. Prove me wrong. You lost Walshy. Get another captain. 
but overall, overall, I actually think that Ogre 2, I agree with you, should definitely step up. Ogre 1 is technically the captain, but, you know, Ogre 2 is one who shows it with his gameplay. Now, guys, he's a strong one. those are our top three teams playing-wise in Toronto. Let's talk about a team that was a huge disappointment. It's Triggers Down. Now, let's take a look at Triggers Down season so far. They kicked it off in Meadowlands, finishing fourth. They only lost to Final Boss, the team that went on to win the tournament. Final Boss beating them twice. Respectable tournament. Now, Trigger's Down, they've kept the, the core three. You look at that screen, all three of the first three guys have been there the entire time, and they have a different fourth every time around. They went into San Diego, and they picked up Victory X from Instinct. Now, Victory, he fit on the team. They finished third, but they weren't happy with that. After that event, they went into Orlando with Sniped Out, the breakout Ooh. player, and they beat Straight Rippin' in what is probably the most exciting match of the season so far. Definitely. And then they Definitely. go from first place, the top of the world, to sixth place in, in uh, Toronto with Macchio. Nexi, what went down, buddy? Well, the way I like to describe it is there was just too many cooks in the kitchen. You gotta let SK run the show. Macchio, you're joining a brand new team and trying to call the shots. It obviously didn't work out. I mean, I think you guys said you saw him argue. You, you wanna tell the story? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm watching Macchio and Hysteria. And Pucky, you remember this. We're behind Hysteria and Macchio and they're having an argument in the middle of the game. You can't do that. This is tournament play. You gotta be serious. You gotta be here to win. And that team definitely wasn't about it. Macchio brought a negative outlook on that team. Even though statistically he played well, I, I didn't think he fit at all on that team. Well, SK, one of the top captains in the league, you know, definitely didn't need a second captain. It didn't work out for him in Toronto. Now, Macchio, he goes back to Team Classic to join up with his old teammate and good buddy, Victory X. You yeah. know, they got to be excited for this event. Definitely. And then, of course, Soldier 187 and Ant finishing out the Classic roster. Now, guys, triggers down. Without Macchio, they're looking for a fourth. They go shopping to ambush. They went after, I got your Pistola. Nexi, Pistola said no to the number two team to, like, by our rankings in the world. What went down? I just earned a ton of respect for Pistola and even Ambush. I mean, come on. Pistola's making a statement here. He'd rather team with his friends, a team with chemistry, something that I've been preaching since forever, over a team who's already established, and re they're really a high caliber team. If he, you know, he's bringing back the pressure onto Ambush to outplay Triggers Down this tournament. I really believe that. And you know what? Ambush has showed time and time again that they really play best when their back's against the wall. And, and you know, I just actually talked to Pistola, and Pistola, he, he said something that touched me a little bit. He said, you know what, I, I, I thought Triggers Down was a bunch of cool guys, they were great, but at the end of the day, I'm playing with my brothers, and, and I have to stay on Ambush. I'm playing with my team here, and we're going to take it to the top. We saw a couple of game fives, so we'll be able to pull it out. Now, Nexi, you used to be a player. You've gone through the whole team changer situation. What would it mean to you to have a teammate getting a better offer to join a team, but he instead turns them down and comes back to you. What does that mean to you? You know what, it makes you want to play harder. It makes you want to prove to him that he made the right decision. You're always going to get better as a player. You're never ever going to find the perfect teamwork. So when you have good teamwork, then you evolve your, strat your, your personal game to make yourself better after you get the teamwork down. All right, well, Ambush definitely one of the most talented teams on the circuit. They're coming in at number seven, but of course, they're also one of the youngest teams on the circuit, so we will see a bright future for Ambush. Definitely. Now, guys, Pistola says no, but someone who said yes was the same guy who turned down final boss just a tournament ago in Toronto. Karma leaves Carbon to join Triggers Down. How huge is this? This is absolutely gigantic. Guys, Karma set loose. He has a real team now, and by, when I say real team, he has a high caliber team. If you look at Karma with Carbon, he was going just as positive as his teammates were going negative. And guys, his teammates were going really negative. Uh, and, and when you look at Karma, he went uh, fifth most positive out of any player in Toronto. They didn't play that much. Um, Karma has been a premier player in this league all season. We know he's a FFA champion, Halo 2 champ. Karma's a sick player, great pickup for Triggers Down. All right, guys. Well, I think that wraps it up for the top four teams. When we come back, I'm going to get your prediction on who is going to win this event. And I'm always right. Always.